Welcome back to Infigam friends. In this video, we are going to tackle one very interesting question from reciprocal equations and expressions. Here we have to simplify one expression x power 5 plus 1 over 32 x power 5 once the given equation is x cube plus 1 over 8 x cube equal to negative half. I will begin this video by writing one identity which we know a cube plus b cube. That is equal to a plus b. In second parenthesis, we can write a square plus b square minus ab. So, a plus b would be as it is. This bracket we can write again in terms of a plus b rather than a square plus b square. So, a square plus b square plus 2ab. Then I need to write over there minus 3ab. So, that addition will be minus a b. Okay. Now I will consider this formula here. So let us see how it will work. So I will write x cube plus 1 over 2x whole cube equal to negative half. Let's apply. So I will write directly this formula a plus b. So x plus 1 over 2x then second bracket I will consider a plus b. So x plus 1 over 2x whole square minus 3ab. You can see what is a and b. a is x, b is 1 over 2x. So once you will take ab, half will come out. So minus 3 over 2. Let me write here. If I will consider this is a and this is b. I am finding AB. I will write x times 1 over 2x. So xx will be over. Half will come out. So this way I can write equal to minus 1 over 2. Done. Now let us consider x plus 1 over 2x equal to suppose t. See what will happen after that. So I will write here t in bracket t square minus 3 over 2 equal to negative half. Okay, let's expand it. t cube minus 3t over 2 plus half equal to 0. Okay, this is one cubic equation where you can see easily once I will put t equal to 1. So, 1 minus 3 over 2. So, minus 1 over 2 plus half. So, it will satisfy the equation. That means we will convert this cubic into quadratic easily by using synthetic division. So, let me write here. I will write t cube minus 3t over 2 plus half equal to 0. Now, I will put t equal to 1 and which will be our base solution. So, 1 minus 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2, you can see this value will be 0. So, this is our base solution. I will write all the coefficients of the given cubic equation. So, t square term is not there. So, I will write 0, 0 here. Then I will consider minus 3 over 2. Then I will consider half. Put one line over there leading coefficient as it is unchanged 1 times 1 1 1 1 times 1 1 negative half 1 times negative half negative half 0 so here we are having coefficients of quadratic equation let me write equation here these coefficients i am writing t square plus t minus 1 by 2 equal to 0 okay now we will apply Sridharachar formula to find out t roots. So t will be equal to minus 1 plus minus square root b square. So 1 square minus 4ac. So plus 2 over 2a. So 2. Simply Sridharachar formula minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Minus 1 plus minus square root 3 over 2. So these values are for t and remember what was our t? 
t was our substitution x plus let me write here x plus 1 over 2x now you can see the given equation was cubic here it is and we are taking the value of x plus 1 over 2x from there that means we are getting three solutions you can see this is one solution here it is two solutions with plus and minus sign let me put in the bracket so conclusion is we are converting one cubic means x cube plus 1 over 8 x cube into the form of x plus 1 over 2x then we will evaluate x power 5 plus 1 over 32 x power 5 so we are getting number of solutions for t that is why you are having three three solutions now we will convert into the required simplified expression answer so let me write here i will begin with t that means i will write equal to 1 see i am right starting from t equal to 1 okay done now i will take whole square both sides i will consider x square plus 1 over 4x square plus 2ab so 2ab if you write then 1 equal to 1 square is 1 now you can see these two term will get over now my first solution is about to come that will be let me write i will take the product of x square plus 1 over 4x square so x square plus 1 over 4x square is 0 equal to 0 from this equation so i am taking product of x square plus 1 over 4x square then x cube plus 1 over 8x cube from here i will collect this required expression equal to let us put the value so right hand side this is 0 x cube plus 1 over 8x cube given it is minus half why i am writing instead of we are getting 0 but this value we will put for these two values of t solution also so right hand side will be 0 now let us take the product i will write here x square plus 1 over 4x square second bracket x cube plus 1 over 8x cube equal to 0 let's expand x power 5 then i will write 1 over 8x then i will write simply distributive law distributive law 1 over 4x square times x x over 4 plus 1 over 32 x power 5 equal to 0 okay first and last term that is our required expression so i will write nearby like this plus from these two terms i will take 1 over 4 common so i will be having x plus 1 over 2x equal to 0 now see if the first two term is our required expression so i will put here in the red bracket now i will put this value x plus 1 over 2x it was i am writing here value it was 1 the very first equation where the base solution t equal to 1 so once t is equal to 1 so we are having x plus 1 over 2x equal to 1 let us put over here 1 so i will write x power 5 plus 1 over 32 x power 5 plus 1 by 4 times 1 equal to 0 so our first answer is x power 5 plus 1 over 32 x power 5 equal to negative 1 by 4 now for the remaining two solutions if you remember it was minus 1 plus minus square root 3 over 2 okay now let us write over there t equal to minus 1 plus minus square root 3 over 2 so i can write from there x plus 1 over 2x equal to minus 1 plus minus square root 3 over 2 let's take whole square both sides same job we will do 
so I will write I have to write here 1 over 2x is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root 3 over 2 let's consider whole square both sides so I will write whole square whole square so a square plus b square will be 1 over 4x square plus 2ab so 1 equal to now if it is plus sign then you will write minus 1 square is 1 plus 3 it is for sure and if plus sign then you will have minus 2 root 3 if minus sign then you will have plus 2 root 3 there is the only change we will have over 4 so from here I can write x square plus 1 over 4 x square this value will be 4 minus plus 2 root 3 over 4 minus 1 so make our denominator common in the right hand side so I can write 4 minus plus 2 root 3 minus 4 over 4 now you can cancel these two terms so what is left minus and let me cancel 2 and 4 also so minus plus root 3 over 2 this is our x square plus 1 over 4x square now I have to multiply with cube bracket so let me write here x square plus 1 over 4x square then I will multiply with x cube plus 1 over 8x cube and then I will put the values minus plus root 3 over 2 this is whole square oh sorry square only and then cube sum then I will see it is written over there minus 1 by 2 so right hand side left hand side you can directly write x power 5 plus 1 over 32 x power 5 as we have done in the previous case also plus 1 over 4 x plus 1 over 2 x and right hand side if it is plus sign then minus if it is minus sign then plus okay so minus sign then plus so i will write in this manner root 3 over 4 plus minus root 3 over 4 okay now let's put the value of x plus 1 over 2x and we are about to our final answer so let me write here now i will write x power 5 plus 1 over 32 x power 5 now let us put the value 1 over 4 in bracket i will write x plus 1 over 2x that value was plus minus root 3 so let me write or minus 1 plus minus root 3 so i am writing plus minus root 3 minus 1 over 2 and rhs is plus minus root 3 over 4 take away this term to the right side so i can write our expression which was actually required x power 5 plus 1 over 32 x power 5 that value will be equal to plus minus root 3 over 4 minus then i will write plus minus root 3 minus 1 over 8 so we are having two answers this one let me put in the bracket box this is our one answer and second answer which we calculated earlier so i will write x power 5 equal to minus 1 by 4 you must be thinking expansion would be the easiest way to solve this problem only for the very first answer minus 1 by 4 otherwise once you will find out a plus b whole power 5 that won't be easy for irrational numbers once it is 1 flat 1 if you have to put then a plus b whole power 5 that is 1 power 5 but once it is plus minus root 3 minus 1 over 2 whole power 5 so that won't be easy task so i picked this path i hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you 
do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care